history. But next we'll put some of our top psychics to the test on us. Ooh. I predict you'll see us again in a couple of minutes though, right here on Sunrise. Well, plenty of people would like to know what is in their future, but is the information they receive spot on? Well, this morning, Koshi and I are going to test that out. Mm, we've got three psychics in the studio. They've only been given our dates of birth. So let's see what Victor Voigt, Jackie Lees and Simon Turnbull have to say. Good morning to Hi. you all. Good morning. Good morning. This is our, our little test for the year. We'll follow it through and get you back later in the year and see, see how we've gone. Victor, let's start with you. We're going to start with Mel first. What are your predictions for Mel? Well, Mel, this is a, a major year of confrontation with your destiny, if you like. I think sort of reassessing your values, your priorities, your directions. I think you could actually be thinking getting towards the second half of the year, having another baby as well. Whoa! Uh, my mum will be watching. Oh, you <laughs> uh, I think there'll be a number of delays in your life at the moment, this will, which will, a lot of those will be eased off from the 20th of April. But by early September, you'll be sort of forging a total new direction for yourself. And there's a lot, lot to do with health matters around you as well. Oh. Health, possibly stress matters around you. We're taking a bit, of, um, a bit of toll of your sleeping time at the moment as well. Oh, okay. Jackie? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I was, uh, funny enough, the first thing I picked up with Mel was baby, but not for a couple of years. <laughs> not, not sort of immediate future, perhaps having a third child. But um, I thought predominantly this year it was focusing on work as well as home and doing really well and doing something really exceptional on TV with a group activity with women involving women that was going to be quite challenging for you. And uh, a raise or bonus would be good. <laughs> Absolutely would be yeah. good. <laughs> And I just thought you really had a happy new year ahead, really good year, v very loving, very uh, fun activities involving family and parties and celebration at home. Okay. Good to hear. Yeah. And Simon? Um, well, I can see you, uh, the major business situation that you're going to get involved with, uh, connected with your career. And I, because you're a bit of a loner in, in certain ways, um, I can see that um, there's an issue where there's a separation through travel and distance perhaps, but. Um, this is mainly because you like to focus, you know, you like autonomy. So this is an important thing that will be linked to this business operation for you and be very successful. In, in February is where the discussions will take place. Oh, that'll be... I'm now, now, how do you all come up with this yeah. and the ways of... Are they quite different? Well, as, as it says in the Australian Psychics Directory, the 2007 edition, this one that's current, um, if we tune into people, uh, right. On an emotional level, we can pick up the issues that, that uh, are confronting them. And by mirroring, by that mean, uh, we mean that we tune into you and how you feel, become you for a short period of time, not too long, and then go back to being ourselves and, and reflect that back oh. to you. So how does that happen? Do you, do you actually visualize stuff, Victor, or do you...? No, well, if you want to talk about visualization, my, my speciality is astrology and numerology. Right. And I do tarot cards as well. But, um, I suppose you could say sometimes looking into astrology and numerology, it's like looking into a crystal ball. We have little things oh. come to you. Oh. Yes. By the way, one thing I didn't mention, which Jackie touched on, I just see you involved with group, group situations later on this year, possibly in a more humanitarian way as well. Oh, mm. okay. Oh, that'd be good. So what about Koshi then? Your turn. Koshi, this is um, an important um, year for starting new directions for yourself. And it'll be much more to do with writing, with communications, but uh, again, I wouldn't be surprised at all if by getting towards the second half of the year, there's going to be a new program offered to you. And it'll be to do with bringing people from the past together, almost like along the lines of uh, It Could Be You by Tommy Handelman as well. Oh, OK. He's not leaving Sunrise, though, is he? Oh, no. Oh, let that happen. Don't do that. Oh. 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 Jackie? Um, well, I picked up a few odd things with David, actually. One predominantly... That's a, a lot of people yeah. describe me as that. <laughs> <laughs> predominantly one came up which was a car, a new car, and to be careful with buying a car. Right. If you're thinking about doing that, because mechanically it could be a nightmare. Right. And I thought maybe you weren't maybe hot mechanically or something, but there would be problems under the bonnet. Yeah, no, I'm not a mechanic. <laughs> right. Um, I thought that you were going to have a good year as well, and you might have a bit of frustration due to an investment you want to make, but money is tied up somewhere you can't access or something, and you're a bit frustrated. But you get there in the end, and, oh. and travel as well for you. 
Okay. Towards the end of the year, around about September. Okay. But so sort of money overseas, problems. Overseas, overseas. Money yeah, problems, money. but I overcome. And a dodgy yes. car. Yeah. And a dodgy car. Okay. Someone, oh, the other thing which was important was someone was going to offer you something to buy something from you. And I don't know where that was, but it was quite a big, it involved a contract. And you weren't sure whether to sell that or not. Right. It's oh, like okay. part of a venture or business or something. Right, okay. Simon. Um, well, as a matter of fact, in March this year, there is a major purchase. I know you're involved with finance. But there is a major, I see some contracts being d negotiated which will sort itself out in February. By March, I see a major purchase, buying or selling of something, uh, whether that's property or whether it's just a, a share or whatever it is. Right. And that's going to go very well for you. In fact, in a sense, you need to wait till the end of March before you can actually move forward with further plans. Oh. Also, I see a book for you um, in some way coming out soon, or you're working on it, which will go very well. And I mean, it depends on how long you're focusing on this, but if we're looking at the next 12 months, it's very, very positive. Right. And as it says in uh, That's Life magazine for this week, uh, the 2007 predictions that are being made there, you're, uh, it's not you specifically, but to both of you, the show is going to go very, is, is going to be very successful with the two of you at, at, at the helm. Oh. oh, well, that's good to know. Phew. Television, you <laughs> never know. Minus Jackie yeah. was talking about. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I, I see you worried about it. But no, I need it to get out of my money problems. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And, and to fix a dodgy yeah. car. Don't buy yeah. that car. Yeah, <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Thank you all very much for coming in. I've actually never ever spoken to a psychic before. Oh, so I was there intrigued. You go. Yeah. Oh. Well, well. Thanks for coming. All much. right. You're well, both we'll uh, psychic, actually. see how it comes out. Thanks. In Have fact, a good day. Looking at oh. your charts together, there's a thing called connected between the two of you, which means it's almost like you're meant to come together. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and well, Eve we can, again. We can, we, can, we can read each other's minds. Pretty yeah, we can do the psychic thing. That's the thing. problem. That's the problem. Thank you. You have a lovely yeah. day. Oh, thank, okay. you. thank you.